students today we are going to look at our grammar portion the first chapter which says countable and uncountable nouns first of all we should know what is a noun noun is a word which refers to anything or any person any animal so it's it's commonly said that it is a naming word okay we have learned that countable nouns earlier and uncountable nouns as well so countable noun is something that can be counted like 1 2 3 4 per kgs or per unit uncountable nouns cannot be counted it, it cannot be counted in plural form so let's go we have learned that countable nouns name things that we can count as separate units countable nouns can be counted as separate units whereas uncountable nouns they are name things that cannot be counted as separate units whereas note this some countable nouns are abstract like problems ideas expectations and so on some uncountable nouns are concrete like sugar milk rice butter and so on so countable nouns can be singular or plural and usually refers to concrete objects for example cars hotels pieces whereas uncountable nouns can neither be singular nor plural and usually refers to abstract things like music love excitement enjoyment and so on they are usually consider as uncountable nouns here you have an exercise so in this from your grammar book circle the countable nouns and underline the uncountable nouns in these sentences the first one says he gave me a lot of advice yesterday advice is an abstract thing so it is uncountable noun so advice is underlined we haven't made much progress of late so progress here see look at the sentence we haven't made so we subject haven't made is the verb much determiner progress again is an abstract thing progress or progresses cannot be uh, counted and so it is it, it is an uncountable noun so you just underline progress she wants to become a scientist a scientist scientists can be counted there are many scientists there are two scientists in the room so a scientist is a noun here and it can be counted so you have to circle it the electricity is yet to come back on the electricity here is the noun electricity is a unit single unit it is it is it cannot be counted as a unit and therefore it should be an uncountable noun so underline electricity fifth one i have a request to make please i have a request so request is here consider as singular i have a single request i have one request so request here is considered as countable the request can be circled she is a girl she is a girl girl is a noun and girl can be counted girl girls two girls with three girls of great intelligence so girl is a noun can be circled countable noun of great intelligence intelligence is a noun again it is underlined it is an abstract abstract noun so it is an uncountable noun underline intelligence 
the spectators spectators already it is plural so it is countable circle spectators for the team team also can be counted team is a noun countable noun i would like to fly an aeroplane someday an aeroplane aeroplanes can be counted so it is a countable noun so you have to circle it tomorrow we are to expect thunder lightning and rain is thunder lightning and rain are all nouns but cannot be counted so you have to underline thunder lightning rain he finds travel interesting he finds travel interesting exciting is all noun so it is actually uncountable noun so you have to underline what does it say agreement with the verb which is very very important where you guys make lot of mistakes countable nouns take only singular or plural verbs okay for example the student singular student is only one student the particular student the student enjoys enjoys look at yes hmm? with the verb you have to add yes provided it should be simple present the student enjoys using technology in the classroom at present okay it is a habitual action of the student may be regular action of the student may be therefore it is used in simple present student enjoys using technology in the classroom whereas when you make students when you write students in plural enjoy in present tense students enjoy using technology in the classroom look at the differences between singular subject and the verb plural subject and the verb it only differs in simple present note this uncountable nouns like singular verbs for example water water can be uncountable a liter of water a bottle of water we can say but when you say water it cannot be counted waters you cannot say unless you bring uh, water from different continents and put together you cannot say waters water takes the shape of the container it is poured into when you pour the water in a bottle it takes the shape of a bottle when you pour the water in a jug it takes the shape of a jug so that's what it is water takes the shape of the container it is poured into the milk contains milk singular so it is actually uncountable noun sorry for saying singular it is uncountable a liter of milk two liters of milk we can say but milks we cannot say so it is uncountable contains 6% fat it holds 6% fat i hope you understand the agreement with the verb subject agreement with the verb when we go through this exercise you will know now circle the correct form of the verbs and complete these sentences for example the information is it is not informations it is the information it is given in singular unit single unit or so it is is the verb would be is not entirely accurate the organizers have organizers is given in plural so it is have when it is organizer then it is has the organizers have done a fantastic job her desire was not where desires is different from desire desire is given in singular and therefore desire was so great that she decided to pursue it grammar always fascinates me attracts me you know enlightens okay grammar grammar is not given in plural form not grammars it is grammar in one unit so fascinates singular verb we have to use 
this generation it is not generations generation does not have any interest in history okay so it is does not not do not does not trophic trophics not trophics it is trophic tends to be heavier in the evening tends not tend because trophic it is not trophics the apartments here the apartments is given in plural and therefore of the apartments in my area so here the subject is the apartments okay in my area it is a uh, it is a phrase okay it is a prepositional phrase the apartments here stands as the subject of the sentence so apartments is given in plural so we have to use offer all kinds of facilities her interest the last one the her interest is given in plural form so include not includes her interest include a liking for space science so these are the exercises uh, you need to go through and circle the correct answer from your grammar text and agreement determiners and nouns agreement with determiners and nouns let's see this let us study this table for helping with matching determiners to nouns to improve accuracy for example determiners with countable nouns okay like a and the some no this that many few all each every several for example this side they have given right side a car an aircraft the engine some boards no trees this leaf that floor many students few teachers all the children or all children each child every woman several stories so this this is how we need to use all these determiners with countable nouns determiners with uncountable nouns the some no this much all less examples the truth some water no sugar this idea much fun all the work or all work less salt determiners with countable and uncountable nouns there should not be anything no example here down there they have given some examples with the determiners with countable and uncountable nouns the some no this all these are determiners with the countable and uncountable nouns can be used the boat the milk some pictures some water okay no coins no money this kitchen this griff all the members are all members all the magic are all magic this is how we have to use all these determiners so let's choose the correct determiners from the brackets to complete these sentences for example ananya has been having some troubles it is not any or several no she has she has been having some troubles with her lessons at school in the bracket they have given options so here we have to use some not any we have to get everything ready in the next few hours no each no no okay next few hours does the evidence points to the fact that the factories are pulling sorry polluting the river all the evidence points or less evident less the evident points no should be all the evidence points to the fact that the factories are polluting the river so all should be the correct answer the fourth one says does weather will be cold and windy next next week so the weather or 
no weather will be cold it is not no weather it should be the weather will be cold it is not some weather no neither some nor no should be the weather would be cold and the fifth one does people have enrolled for this course this year so it's not every people it should be several people have if you use every then every person has enrolled or each person has enrolled so these two words like every each would not fit here it should be several people there is this chance that we all will get there in time there is no chance that we will get there in time it is not many chance and it's not few chance because no I mean chance is a singular form it's given in singular form and therefore it's no chance i have seen a signature i have seen this signature somewhere before i have seen this you point out this signature somewhere before it should not be each or some no meaning would be there if you use each or some i don't have this experience in the field of music i don't have much experience in the field of music this is how we should use then quantifying uncountable nouns can be seen in the next class until here if you have doubt you can clarify in the class thank you very much